after this last video you should be able to access your homework task that is actually related or group work task related to this lecture um, in this homework uh, on actuators uh, we will uh, consider a system that is similar and I stress on similar and not identical but similar to that of a millipede system a millipede system is a type of um, hard um, hard disk uh, drive that has been developed by IBM and uh, you can find more on that on Wikipedia if you search for millipede hard drive <clears throat> and the system that we are going to consider here is uh, and that I will ask you to the homework actually will be for you to design the actuator solutions for such a system and how does the system specific system that we are interested in uh, look like well the system is a hard drive and the hard drive, the, the writing of ones and zero data in this hard drive is simply by having a little needle, and you can see here this little black thing is here, each of these is a little needle, this little needle punching a hole in the yellow polymer plate. And when the system punches a hole, it means there's a one there. If it's as a, situ as a position where, it, where there is no hole, so where it's absolutely flat, that means there's a zero. So the system is going to scan or can so freely scan over this yellow plate and write uh, and either write a one or write a zero writing a one means pushing down writing a zero means doing nothing so that's the writing action the reading of the system is that you move your uh, that you move the the little um, uh, cantilever tips to the position where you want to read and then you're gonna softly move down and sense really sense whether you know, you move to this to the polymer, and you just softly touch it and see is there a hole here or not. So you're not you're going to be careful not to dent it unwantedly, but you're just going to see if there's a hole, it's going to be able to move down. If there's no hole, it will feel okay. I can't move down here. And so in this way, the system can sense whether there's a, a hole or not a hole, so a one or a zero written at that position. That's about the, the the reading. So we write by pushing a hole or not pushing a hole. We read by sensing using the same cantilever whether there's a hole or not in that position. Now we can also erase data or refresh data by <clears throat> going with a needle to a certain position and heat up the needle locally at the top such that the polymer at that spot remelts and by remelting it will back close the polymer so when there is a hole it will close and will, there will be no hole anymore so in that way you can basically override it with a zero yeah. <clears throat> you can change a one to back to a zero yeah. um, <clears throat> The system consists of an array of this uh, of this small um, little cantilevers, and it's an array of 1,024 by 256. That's, I think there's a printing error in your homework. So it's 256 by 1,024. So we have like 256,000 little cantilevers that are fixed on this top plate here. And this top plate is fixed in the chip, and the bottom plate, so the, the polymer plate, that is movable in the x direction and the y direction. So that can scan underneath, and you have the exact dimension of how big these needles are, how big you want. I want you to push the holes. What is the size of every cantilever that can move independently, etc., etc. That is all in the homework. And now the question of the homework. There's actually two questions. The first question is um, define the specification requirements for the transducers. Huh? That means that for each of the actions, there are three uh, types of actions. You have the XY scanning action of the bottom plate, and you have the the writing action of the the Z direction movement of the of the of the tip the cantilever tip here. That's for the writing, and you have this Z direction movement for the reading. So these are three different types of actions that you that you are supposed to be able to do with your system. And so for each of the actions, the question is, what is the maximum stroke, the maximum displacement needed, and the positioning, the position. So how precise do I need to be able to move? The, the thing and the second question is how fast do I need to scan and how fast do I need to be able to move this up and down during a reading or during a writing so basically this is the first question make an estimate of the maximum stroke the the positioning precision and the speed of the actuation to be able for you to do that uh, <clears throat> we will assume that this is a hard drive that is used for st uh, storing pictures in a uh, in a camera in, a, in an electronic camera so you take a picture and then the data or even a video file and the data that you generate you will need to store on a hard disk 
uh, and if you want to then see the picture or see the video afterwards on your camera you'll need to of course retrieve the data so this is kind of the typical application we have in mind and now the question is if you know that is the application make an estimation of how fast data transfer will I need to or from my hard disk and if I know that data transfer the speed of that uh, make an estimation how fast each of these actuators that you will want to or the transducers that you will want to integrate how fast do they have to work uh, the second question is, that's the first question, yeah? this, uh, and actually that is a, a question that is independent of technology, you know, it's independent of the type of actuator you use. It's just I need to know, no matter what actuator or, or what transducer I'm going to use, I need to know how fast it's going to work, that I know from the application. Yeah? So the first question is about the requirement, that what requirements are put by the application of your camera by taking pictures and reading and writing uh, picture data, what requirements does that put on the transducer solutions that you're going to uh, have later on? The second question is then, suggest a full solution of transducers, that means a minimum but full solution of actuators and sensors that will be necessary to make all the movements and all the sensings required uh, in the system. And you can use anything, uh, of course you're, you're fixed to the dimensions and the specification that I give, but the specific solutions, you can uh, choose those freely from uh, all the different, you have seen a lot of sensing and actuation principles, and you can use freely of, out of those ones and try to put together a set of these transducers to really build a system like this. Hmm? I think this is quite challenging for you, but also quite fun. I want you to be also very specific, eh? so don't come and say, oh, I'm going to use a magnetic actuator dot. Uh, that's not good enough. If you say magnetic actuator, I want to know, is it uh, with a permanent magnet, or are you going to have to use a coil, or a Lorentz force, or, or with a soft reluctance material? I want to be very, 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 very precise, know exactly what actuation uh, principle you're going to use, and also where exactly... Will you put your sensors and actuators if you're planning to put them? Where, where are they? Do you put them underneath yellow plate or somewhere in the red layer? Uh, you know, be very specific and maybe make a sketch where you want to put them. All right. You can read the details of this in the homework itself.